Airbnb, Live Nation, and other ticket sellers and venues are ending the practice of applying hidden fees on ticket sales. And a New Jersey man survived a lightning strike yesterday. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Later today, the White House is expected to announce that concert and ticketing company Live Nation has agreed to do away with hidden fees on ticket sales. NPR's Tamara Keith reports. Live Nation and its subsidiary Ticketmaster have earned the ire of music fans for years for tacking on hefty fees at the end of the purchasing process. The outcry was deafening after they botched ticket sales for the Taylor Swift Eras Tour and charged infuriating fees on top of it all. Now, the White House says Live Nation will announce a commitment to offer all-in, upfront pricing to 30 million customers buying tickets at events at its venues. No more unpleasant surprises at checkout. President Biden will host company executives at the White House this afternoon from Airbnb, Live Nation, and several other smaller ticket sellers and venues committed to ditching the junk fees. Upfront pricing enables comparison shopping. Tamara Keith, NPR News. There were severe thunderstorms yesterday in the Northeast. Police in a New Jersey town say they saved the life of a man who was struck by lightning south of New York City. The man had been working outdoors. New Jersey resident Mahani Bedia said she saw the man on a soccer field just before the lightning strike. I was like, what is he doing out there? It's pouring out there. And then right when I got into my kitchen, that's where when I heard the boom. More storms triggered tornadoes in the south yesterday. Damage is reported in Alabama and Georgia. A British parliamentary committee that has been investigating former Prime Minister Boris Johnson has issued its report. Lawmakers conclude Johnson broke his own government's pandemic lockdown rules and repeatedly lied about it to Parliament. NPR's Lauren Freyer reports from London. The report says Johnson deliberately misled Parliament about boozy parties he hosted while the country was under COVID lockdown. It calls his denials so disingenuous and notes the, quote, frequency with which he closed his mind to the truth. If Johnson were still in Parliament, investigators say he should be suspended for 90 days. But he resigned last week, beating them to it. They're recommending he be denied a parliamentary pass that's normally granted to former former lawmakers. Parliament will debate that next week. In language echoing that of his friend Donald Trump, Johnson calls the investigation against him a witch hunt and a political assassination. Lauren Fryer, NPR News, London. Officials in South Korea and Japan say that North Korea has launched what appears to be two ballistic missiles. These were fired from north of the capital Pyongyang and flew eastward into the sea. Japanese news reports say that at least one projectile fell into the waters of Japan's exclusive economic zone. The launches come as South Korea and the U.S. conducted military exercises today that simulated a North Korean attack. This is NPR. 